boys, welcome down to the shed. Uh, I've been kicked out of the house because I'm too loud, so here we are. I'm making a couple more videos. This week I'm going to do some troubleshooting, so I just want to look at some of the reoccurring issues or problems that I see uh, in our program, particularly with our skill set, and, uh, and then I'm going to address them and talk about, I guess, why uh, they're an issue and then how we sort of go about fixing them. So today, uh, the first one I want to talk about is falling off our pass. It's something a lot of us do, uh, and basically what I mean by that is when we're passing, we're passing the ball and pushing away from our intended target. Um, the reason it's an issue, uh, first reason it's an issue is we lose power. So if we're falling off a pass, if we're pushing away from it, right, it's sort of counterintuitive, like we're wanting all our force and our power to go that way, and we're falling to the, to, to the other side. To, to compensate for our lack of power, often what we do is we end up dipping our hands and scooping. Um, and I'll show you when we go out there in a minute, but basically when we scoop, uh, we're essentially dipping low past the hip height and coming back up. And the issue with that is it's ineffective and it's inaccurate. Uh, so we're offing that one passes behind uh, our intended target. A couple more reasons why uh, I think falling off our pass is a bad idea. Um, we also give, if we fall off the pass, we actually don't, uh, block the defender and it's not that we're trying to block them intentionally but we don't block their running line so we've given them a free free chance or free shot at an inside shot or an inside poach on uh, outside uh, attacker and as well as that it actually means that you're, you're a less effective support player so the idea is that we pass and we follow right we pass and we follow towards uh, where we've passed and then we're open for a, for a decent clean uh, or even better for another inside option is if he breaks the line, you're there uh, to offload to. So uh, I'm going to go through a bit of a progression um, outside. I'm going to take you out there and go through a couple of drills just to get you in the, in the habit of making sure that we fall with our pass. Great. So boys, we're going to start with... Uh, quite a progressive drill so we'll start in three stages first of all we're going to be really pedantic about the movement really exaggerate all the movements and make sure that we're sort of getting in good habits and uh, we're dramatizing that as much as we can uh, and and the hope is that later on when you're at full flight you might not get to the full extension of all those movements but you're going to be moving towards that sweet first drill Okay, so we're just using our opposite leg to the way that we want to pass. So I'm going right, I'm passing right, I'm going to use my left hand, uh, sorry, my left leg. That's where all your power starts from. I know we use a lot of our upper body, we focus on our wrists and our forearms, but our power generates from our legs. So we're going to go up from there, uh, we're going to be nice and square. And the other habit I want to get us used to is passing over our right leg. A lot of people are scared, and I think this is why we fall off our passes, because we're not used to passing over over a leg, <laughs> we're used to passing quite, just the way that we, they're quite square and quite turn, like turned around with the trunk. That's the way we sort of chuck a ball around casually and that's the way we sort of learn how to pass to start with. So it's just rewiring our, our habits. So learning to pass over our leg and we're just gonna go up and balance and we're just gonna try and hit our target. Progression number two, we just want a little bit of movement now, so I'm just looking for some uh, high knees, sort of one, two, three, and then the plant and pass. Uh, now the, the second um, sort of progression that I want, as well as the feet, is I want you to fall towards where you're going. So we're going one, two, three, fall and pass. As we fall, we can pass that. We're pushing off our left leg, and as we go into that movement, we sort of pass and we're delivering that ball.
number three, and we're just going to add some movement into it. So I'm going to run an L line. Basically, I'm going to start a few meters off a cone. Still looking at a five to seven meter pass. I'm going to jog towards the line, catch the ball on the left hand side. Generally, where I want to catch it at this target on the on my on on, on the uh, left hand side of my center line, and I'm going to progress to stepping off my left foot around the cone and then pushing through. Still keeping those good habits. So passing line from A to B, nice and straight all the way through us and try and hit that target. So just in summary, talking about not falling off our pass, we want to move in the direction, our whole body wants to move in the direction that the ball is going in. So using that planted foot, stepping off it, making sure the defender's fixed, squaring them up, passing that way, and then moving uh, to block off their line. Right? So we're not, we're not looking to run a blocking play like in uh, American football, but we are looking to make sure that they don't have a clean line uh, of defence, or sorry, a, a, a tracking line, uh, into our uh, guy that we've passed the ball to.